Hello, and thank you so much for watching this week's episode. I'm really excited about this one because Susan gets us thinking in ways about our wardrobe and how we look and how we feel in, in I have to say from experience from speaking with her in ways I hadn't spoke, thought of myself before. So very happy to have you here today. Susan Jacobs of Personal Style Image and Wardrobe. Thank you, Susan. Thank you for having me, Carolyn, and being on your sparkly show. <laughs> I wish I had sparkles. Oh, oh, there's a thought. I could have sparkles that I just throw when, when I introduce right. someone. Oh, no. Um, I, I know we have some awesome conversations when we're talking, talking. And it's like, oh, these are conversations women should be hearing because we're on the same wavelength when it comes to confidence mm -hmm. and how you feel and everything. So I would love to start by you saying to everyone who it is you are, what it is you do, and everything that sort of fires you up when, when it comes to your business. So when you say image, people go, oh, that's nice. And they don't really know what that means. So image is all of those things that other people see when we're in their presence. So it's not just what you're wearing. It is your behavior. It's those subtle things of rolling your eyes so body language and of course communication so those are the areas that I work on with clients and surprisingly enough most people do not realize that adding the wardrobe is the end piece it isn't where we start oh what is the point of having all these clothes as many of your viewers will uh, relate to when you really don't know if those clothes are working for you if they're sending your message or if, if they're listen clothes are supposed to do a job for us other than cover our bodies so forget all that we need to figure it out and start on the inside then we decorate the outside you are singing my song sister <laughs> oh my goodness and you know what you've just like i've just just had one of these thoughts from what you said when you say body language it would tie in because, of course, if you feel good in what you're wearing and you feel confident and happy, you're going to be oozing that to the outside world That's with your so body true. language. I never thought of that. It's the same thing as I explain to women, because sometimes you have to create a visual, as yeah. you know. Um, if you are in a store and forget about buying the item, but you slip on something that is extraordinary in terms of fabric, it's the perfect style for you, the color is your best color. When you walk out of the change room, no one can mistake that confidence because your body is resonating with what you've put on it. It's the energy. When you come out of the dressing room and something and you're yanking at the arms or you're fiddling, the, right away your shoulders are up and I will say to the client, no, nope, not going to work. Take it off the little part of it. No, nope, not going to work. It's paying attention to those cues. Oh my gosh, this is huge. This is huge. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's true. So, oh my goodness. Where do I start with this? <laughs> you know, it all does tie in with, with how we feel about ourselves. And of course, this mm -hmm. channel is geared towards the 40 plus woman because I am there selfishly and I know how I feel and I wanted to help other women feel the same. And so much of that goes into, um, aside from, from our feelings and our health, it's about our clothing and what we're wearing and how it's making right. us feel. And so I know part of that we were going to talk about, which sort of your topic that you just mentioned takes us right into it is is wearing clothes for how you feel we often hear people say dress for your age dress for your age oh, we're God. dressing for your age let's dress for how we feel so how how do you find like do women come to you and they sort of have a tendency to be behaving a certain way or or maybe they're feeling a certain way and then they leave you and then all of a sudden there's they've had this mind-blowing event and they realize that it was a lot to do with their clothing like tell me a bit about that you no know, I think to be honest yes people find me um mostly I would say referral and website is okay. where I get business especially in this time where I'm not on a stage I'm not doing presentations for yeah. corporate groups because that would have been that would have been where I get a lot of clients so this is a little different um, but still happening getting new clients and I feel like when they hear something I say it could be random they go oh she was talking to me and then they mm. may follow me on Facebook they may tune into some of the videos I've done and um, look go to my website and read all of my blogs and I feel like a lot of women reach out they know they need something they're not 
quite sure what it is. But what a lot of them will say is, whatever is happening now, it isn't working for me. I have no idea who I am, and I don't. I I, I really don't know where to start. So that like- that's you need to start at the beginning. That's why I created, and I didn't always do this, Carolyn. No, I would say no. I would say maybe six years ago, seven years ago, I shifted my practice into more inside outside dressing and I added the style appointment which is deep deep digging work it is self-reflective and it's me you know kind of nudging the way come on what is your best feeling what what do you feel the best in what is your favorite color if they didn't know I say okay when do you notice you get compliments and so many women say I don't know I don't know if I get it okay you know what that needs to stop we can change that. I'm, I'm the cheerleader. I yeah. am the biggest cheerleader of women finally saying, oh, I get it. Yeah. Like this. That's, I, I see that. I didn't know that I did this all the time. No wonder people aren't coming into my office. Yes, that says go away. So it's so all those cool things. I like it because a lot of people don't know these little subtle subtleties. So it's, it's neat to share things. You know what? It's very, very true. And it, and it, you know, boy, when you start looking into the psychology of it and everything, it's extremely mm-hmm. interesting. So much of how we feel and what we do really, sorry, let's scrap that. Everything <laughs> we do and everything we feel comes down to our mind and our mindset and, and how right. we feel. And I know uh, we all have those clothes or did eh? where, where you're wearing something because you feel you should, because it's in, yeah. the, it's in fashion or whatever. Mm-hmm. And you don't feel right. Hello, bikinis. Um, and then you actually decide to wear things that just, that's what I must admit. I, I'm, I did a, a couple of years ago was just on my own. It was like, what do I, what do I feel great in? What do I feel great in? Cause I have had my conf- lacking in confidence moments and that's yes. a testament to what you're doing. Everybody does. Yeah. Because you're, yeah. why not? Why not go out in the clothes that make you feel fantastic? It doesn't matter what size you are, what shape you are, what weight you are, what color you are. As soon as you see that woman wearing the outfit that she loves and rocks, all you think of is confidence. I mean, it's incredible. You you know, and Carolyn, we could talk about just recently what you and I did, just in a little conversation. And we were texting each other. We were, I don't think we were even on the phone. No. Try something blue and look at you. You are stunning. It, and here's the thing. You. <laughs> here's the thing. And it, it doesn't mean that you weren't before because your energy shines through. That's, That's the key. What you say to me this morning, you love the navy blue. Um, and it is a rich, beautiful color for you because now we see your beautiful face. It frames you instead of you wearing the color or the color wearing you. And I feel oh. like many women. Actually, I'm doing a, um, a series right now. Yeah. And last week, one of the participants said she has felt invisible for a long time. Oh. And she didn't want that anymore. This is, not, this is not uncommon, Carolyn. And it doesn't mean that she didn't feel good in her clothing. She didn't know where to start. Yeah. So I feel, and this is not about spending a fortune. I want to make that clear because oh. I think... People assume, oh, right, hiring somebody like Sue, you know, costs a fortune. I will tell you, I have as many clients that are very aware of their budget and have a specific budget for me as I do clients that don't. Beautiful. It's really about that desire to be your best self. And it is not about comparison. It isn't. Oh, you're so right. No, it's because that's the end of the fun. That's the end of the joy, as Brene Brown says. It's not that. It's just taking those baby steps forward. Um, One of my clients who's, uh, when when she hired me, I was terrified of her. She's a little feisty thing, head of surgery somewhere. Yeah. She intimidated me. And then the roles changed. And I would, because we, you know, I was nervous. My confidence level wasn't where it should be. And I wanted to measure up. And finally she said, you know, when I started with you, I would say I was a safe dresser. You have blown that up. And now anything is the limit, Sue, because you've made me feel confident in my choices. 
So I told her, I said, man, let me tell you. So it's interesting oh, how we get in our own way, right? We, we, get- we, oh my gosh. You know what? I'm sad that this conversation isn't going on for a week because there's so many <laughs> things that we could talk about. We really, really do. I have to admit that um, I've never, I've almost, I have prided myself on the fact that I'm not necessarily hugely yeah. into fashion or makeup mm-hmm. or anything like that. I just, I want people to see me as me. Mm -hmm. it's not about me it actually goes back to you in the sense that when you brought it to my attention about wearing color um and you mentioned blue I was thinking maybe you would mention pink because everybody seems to think my favorite color is pink we'll go with that for my branding friends right of Um, course and it was really something else and I actually you made me you know, it's just like, you don't know what you don't know in life, in health, in, in anything. You made me look through my closet and it was like, black, white, gray, black, white, gray, black, white, gray. Oh, little color, black, white, gray. Mm-hmm. And the, co- the clothes that I get the most compliments are the ones that have that massive, big splash of color in them. Um, and a lot of them were loosey goosey as well. And I'm like, oh, I love my body. I want to wear things that, you know, that, that I feel good and that, that fit to me. So you right. really get people thinking you really get people thinking in ways that I, I didn't even think of thinking. Well, it's because we're not taught this. And if people have that skill innately that they know what works, that's, that is a, that is an art. Yes. Um, and I think you, I can, we can teach women the style rules. Um, but it's, it's something that people bypass, you know, just, let me say this because I think this is important. Anyone who owns their own business should be aware of image because your image is what sells your business. It is not your product or service. And this is true. We buy from people that we know, like, and trust. How do you get to trust people remotely or strangers? It's what we give them. So when you are wearing gray, Carolyn, I'm not seeing your vibrancy. When it, yeah. it washes you out. When I see you in navy, as I said, it's a contrast to your skin. It's rich. Your eyes are blue. So for anyone out there saying, I don't know where to start. If you have hazel eyes, you need to be wearing all of green. Check out brown. If you have blue eyes, start with blue. And you will see, it's like, oh my goodness. Now I am the spotlight. Without being, and I don't mean in a cocky no. way. That's not what we need. But Carolyn. If you don't stand in your spotlight, other people don't benefit from you. You're very, you're very right. You are all, you're so right. Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm You God, know what? I'm Another sick. thought is, um, you also, and I'm not going to give away the secret because if people oh. want to know the secret, they should get in touch with you. But you also on the phone or texting gave me another. You told me about my color eyes and, and how to utilize them in my clothing. You mentioned something about my lower half, my feet. And a certain color I should be wearing. And I must admit, so I'm in the, I'm, I'm looking for a pair of funky winter boots. And I would have gone black, 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 black. Oh, oh, yeah. I've always worn black. I think it looks um, very classic. But at the same time, I know I don't wear my boots under my arms, but I wear a lot of black because I have sweaty <laughs> armpits. So let's just be real. Um, and so I try and cover it all up. But I'm now looking for the color that you mentioned. And I never would have done that in a million Which years. Which was? It was sort of similar to my hair. Yes. yes. And here's the thing. Real blonde. Yeah. And I said that. So a sand, a taupe, a light yes. blue. Yes. But here's, here's the thing. And I, and I don't want people to misunderstand. Black isn't a, col- a best color for me either. I have a lot of black. I, I did a lot of stage work. Like yes. where, and I, I am one who then, knowing that, will address that issue with statement jewelry. Okay. Not everybody has invested in enough accessories to be able to transform those dresses. Yeah. But navy for some people is their best black. Wow. And you can get it. No. So it isn't any less flattering on the body. It isn't yeah. any less prominent. But we all know a black tie event is a black tie event. But that yeah. doesn't mean that your wardrobe should be full of that. And I've had to shift myself because as you age your skin changes color and women who are experimenting with hair colors too, that happens. Um, So I want people to think I don't 
certainly don't say don't wear black if you love black, Carolyn. But if you don't have like the, you know, blue and off white cream and then a little black, a major necklace like that, which would be stunning because you're still honoring that blue, then, you know, it's going to wear you. Uh, and I think that's, we don't want to do that. We want to shine. Carolyn, you want to shine. Oh, Susan, you're just fantastic. You're throwing them in everywhere you can. I appreciate yeah. it. So but let's talk shoes. about... <laughs> so, so we started out with the boot comment. Yeah. We start with your natural hair color. Okay. So for me, that would be a deep, a deep kind of a chocolatey brown, a dark brown. But here's the the piece that needs to work because people will think, well, that's crazy. If you have a wardrobe of black and gray and white, which a lot yeah. of people do, then that wouldn't work. If you're building your wardrobe, you will be in colors that you should be wearing. And okay. for you, Carolyn, that sage, sorry, tan, light antelope boot would okay. be amazing. Do you okay. see what I mean? So it works for your color with your navy, with your deep olive greens. It will look stunning. Do you see? I hope that people who own shoe businesses out there are watching and they're, they're thinking well, they're benefiting from you saying right. that because I want to go and shop at one of their stores now for boots. <laughs> right. I, you know what? No, I'm going to say this because let's be honest, everybody... We have found in my industry that we need to educate our clients and yeah. women at large because if you know, then you're empowered. You can go in the store, not be worried that you're going to come out of there with something that you shouldn't have bought or doesn't right. really know for yourself. So you need to say, you know, for me too, things that I don't know, I have no problem asking for help. Yeah, so when you, keep, when you don't know, get the info so that you can say to the salesperson, oh, no, you know what? I don't think that color is good for me, yeah. I'm looking for, boom, have a picture okay. on your phone. It just saves time and yeah. you're going to save a ton of money. And I think that's where, um, again, because the channels for women, let's say uh, where a, a lot of women trip themselves up is they don't voice and maybe it's all to do with mm. it is all to do with the confidence and self-worth and, and, and everything. And we could go down a whole rabbit hole, but so many people don't say I want this. This yes. is what I'm looking for. When right. they have every right to. Um, yeah. It's but, you know, in this, um, when all this started for me in March, when I had to switch the way I delivered my services, um, it unexpectedly, I had to build a new website. That was okay. not a plan I wanted to do. Okay. Writing, rewriting, it's like so much work. And I felt like I needed to do it quickly. Yeah. But the, the team that I hired, the one thing that the owner of the company said to me, he said, it is so easy to work with people like you because you know what you want. Awesome. And you articulate it. There is no wasted time. And you also know what you don't want. So I think we need to stand in, in our own value of our own judgment. Let's just, yeah. we do know. And I mean, a whole workshop there. <laughs> No, it's true. So if somebody's looking, and I know this is a huge general, um, down in a second, I want to talk about more about you pivoting the business, but mm -hmm. when it's, it's a woman watching this, she's 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, hundred. Wow. And I want to know that hundred year old woman. <laughs> she's, <laughs> okay. she's really super fun. Um, you know what, because I feel, and I know you feel the same way, like every single woman at every single age, there's so many women that think, oh, I turned 50. I know when I turned 50, um, the women that would say to me, oh, it's all down here. Hill. Oh, oh. That's and it's like, no, it isn't. This is your moment to shine. Oh. What, is, what are a couple of tips that are generic in the sense that I know you're talking to so many different people? What are a few little things where just that, that can empower a woman who's getting old or in her wardrobe to just walk out there and feel like she still has it all because she does. I think that's what I find with my clients. I have a lot of, I would say I, right now my existing clientele is a lot of 40 year olds, mid 40 year old women. Okay. women, And I have a lot of 53 to 60 year olds. And I feel today more than ever, women are, certain groups of women are looking for that. There's, they're, they're working out, they're going to yoga, they're walking, they're taking time. They're mindful of the fact that it isn't selfish 
to put yourself on your own, I say, to-do list. So I think for women that aren't, you really need to think about um, how you come across. And if you're happy, everybody's happier. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I give a, a little exercise to clients that don't know what the perception of them is out there. I will say, okay, ask two trusted people, not your partner, not yep. somebody who's going to paint a rosy picture. You want to know, okay, if you didn't know me and you met me for the first time, what would your perception of me be? You need, we need to listen to that. Yeah. And if there's a crossover, okay. And not be defensive and say, oh, okay. Yeah, I come across too intense. That can be misconstrued, right? Yes. Sometimes it's your excitability. I'm one of those people. So I need to take a step back, think about it. And then I, I, you asked me a question about wardrobe. Yes. I feel for sure ladies need to pay attention when you pull on those pants and you zip them up or you pull on your skirt, you put on your jean, whatever it is, your sweater. Yeah. Look in the mirror, front, side, back. Okay. Yeah. You need to see what everyone else is seeing. And it needs to be a full length mirror. We need to see your feet. You need yeah. to see your feet. Okay. Um, if you have any, if your eye goes somewhere on your outfit and it keeps going there, there's something wrong. We need to trust our gut. Okay. Take it off. If it's a group of necklaces and something's, you know, bugging you, it start there. If your shirt is too short and you're not liking that it's showing certain parts of your, you know, the weight, this tummy area, take it off. Don't yes. just say, oh, it doesn't matter. It does matter. Okay. Who does it matter to? Yeah, you. That's right. right. It matters to you. Because I feel like a lot of women have so much stuff in their closet, they don't even know what's in there. Yeah. So if you keep defaulting to the same pieces because you know they work, yeah. I will tell you that there's a lot of fun on the other side of breaking that chain. The minute you do, people will say, oh, did you lose weight? Or... Oh, did you get a haircut? Because it's like people that never wear color that all of a sudden show up in a color, even if it isn't a good color for them. Okay. People say, oh my gosh, you look great. It's because they weren't seeing you the way you need to be seen. Does oh, that make sense? Oh, it so makes sense. I'm just, I'm just sitting here and I'm almost levitating off my chair because <laughs> it's all making so much sense. And that would be a show. So exciting because I think, I seriously think thinking about these things can be life changing for women. Um, they because, are. You know, every, how we feel is just how we feel. It's so important and that oozes out to the world. And um, sometimes we can over try. And sometimes it's something I call it as simple as the wardrobe. It's not simple necessarily, but looking at what makes us feel incredible because we deserve oh, it. And I, I don't think this is a materialistic no. piece. Is it? I'm not a stylist. I don't work with a, a stranger that phones me and says, can you shop with me? I don't do that. I turn that business away. Okay. I, can, I can make someone look flattering, but that doesn't mean they're going to know how to do that themselves. It's not empowering. We yeah. need to take ownership of that. What's yeah. going to work for us? What is our, what it, you know, start with some information. There are lots of workshops and master classes out there right now because most of us are home that are free sit in on them. You, it's, it's amazing what you can pick up it's if true. you can take the time, right? And I think that's the other thing. Take the time for you. We take the time for everything else. Put yourself in there. It's true, eh? And, and funny yeah. that you say that because I'm reading an, a really incredible book right now written by a, a couple of women. And that's exactly what they're saying. I mean, we know it's true that especially as women, we, we tend to do what we feel we should and be everything to everyone. And, and oh, God forbid, we actually spend some time on ourselves because I could be cleaning and I could be doing this and I could be thinking about that and I could be offering that. And, and sometimes we just need to sit in the peace and the quiet and, and really think about ourselves and do stuff for ourselves. I think that right now, given this situation, you know, since March, the pandemic, Many people are doing that because it was imposed on us. That's it right. It's something that they intended to do. Um, I see it changing a lot of habits, especially within my client world. We are all the same. When I rewrote my website, I will tell you the perspective that I came from was way different than two years ago. And it's serving me better now. But guess awesome. what? More important, it's not about me. It is serving my 
area of reach better because yep. people don't want more stuff. We don't need to wait. What are we waiting for? Good heavens. We can see what, there's no reason to wait. Yes. Let's enjoy things now. Yes. And um, if you need to hire a trainer, hire a trainer. If it's something that you, you know, if you need to see a health, uh, I'm sorry, a nutritionist, then do so. Don't wait. If you, yeah. you feel that you're lost in your visual presentation, you're not getting the job you want, you're, you don't like your job, you've been downsized, now you're on that interview wheel, there are things that you need to know and be doing because yeah. I will tell you the people that know what to do are at the top of the game. That's right. That's where you need to be because so competition is real. Sorry. It is in that situation. Mm -hmm. And how can you be your best self, honor yourself, but still offer something unique to whoever you need to be uh, pleasing? It's, it, there's a lot of truth to that. You know? A lot of truth to that. It's huge. Yeah. Um, listen, I know we could go on forever. Yes, we got sir. a couple of minutes left. Before we finish, I do want you, it sounds to me, I want to talk about the pivoting because okay. um, as older oh. women, we've we both pivoted our businesses and it sounds that you're the very same as me, that it was an area that I know I should have been pushed into a long while ago and I'm thriving. It sounds that you are too. This sounds like you've sort of been, um, you know, guided into a, a, an area with your business that's just, I mean, it's oozing out of you. You shine, you... Well, uh, thanks, Caroline. Obviously, it works. Has it all been good or were there challenges no. to it? Like, tell me a bit about it. Yeah, it was called either make the decision or throw in the towel. So, wow. Okay. Wow. I was not positioned at all. You okay. were because I'm very in-person I'm an in-person person. Yeah. I'm touchy feely. Um, my workshops that I deliver in person, you've been to yeah. a couple. I like I like to read the crowd because as a teacher, those skills help you know where to shift your content. That's so right. I you know, how do you how do you wardrobe online? it's like, oh good grief. So I made the, it was like, okay, you either do this. Yeah. And reach out to people that you know in my industry that are successful at it and have never worked in person, or you just pack it up and say, here we go. That that was after a week, it was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna do this. So it just awesome. it started and I, you know, I you know what, I have my clients to thank, my core group that I reached out to, but I also think again the value in saying, I don't know how to do this. Who can yes. I ask for help? Yes. And be be specific about who you go to for help. It needs to be someone who knows what they're doing and who is yeah. successful. And, and that's what I did. And there are people who will help you. And I, I was very fortunate uh, that way. And, and then my clients, I said, here's what I'm doing. Do you guys want to try this? And they were so happy and excited oh. for me. And they said, Sue, good for you. Yeah, we'll try it. And now it's like I'm polishing those services but awesome. it's good. And even the people that didn't want to do it are now going, okay, because it's been a long time, right? Since March. Yeah. And my clients, even though some of them aren't working, they are retired and they're not traveling like they were and they're not going to their home in Florida. They still want to feel good oh, for their Zoom true. calls. It's true. And you know what? It's funny you make that point because I have a little giggle and a smile every time I put my squirt of perfume on when yeah. I'm about to teach a pound class in the basement yes. that's virtual and sweaty because I'm like, oh, this is just giving me such pleasure. That's it's it. The things that are simple have come have come back to being pleasures yes. again. Yes. Actually eating something that you order in is a, is a gift again. And, and no. wearing that pair of pretty underwear under your clothes. It's so true. Like, oh, I know they're there. Yeah. You're it's right, crazy. Carolyn. It is. And I feel like that's a COVID gift. It's, it's, def yeah. I, I so agree with you. I wrote this yesterday that simple things, we really take them slowly. It's like a slow motion. It's enjoying right. it. I can't agree with you more. And you know, um, like somebody said, we can understand our dogs being so excited at, you know, seeing somebody walk by the house now. You're like, oh. <laughs> oh, that's so, that's a good, that's cute. That's a great comparison. Oh, yeah. It's so oh, crazy. Listen, I have absolutely loved this. I can't say how grateful I am. I think you're going to fire up an awful lot of women. And I mean that 
in such, you know, with such passion, um, I, you're going to have a lot of women thinking now about, uh, you know, so. no matter how old or younger I am or what size I am, it's just, how can I feel good? And I deserve right. to feel good. So, and, and I really go back to, I do a Tuesday, every Tuesday at 6 PM Eastern standard time, I do a Facebook live video and then awesome. I do put it onto YouTube, but for people who don't know and they want to get, you know, they want, are curious, check that, just go to my Facebook business okay. page because then you get to see what kinds of things I'm sharing. And I do share a lot of tips and things that people Excellent. want to know that are struggling. So that's what uh, my message is. Don't give up. I Sometimes we need to leave up something behind in order to move forward. And that is a gift. Yeah. You're right. Oh my gosh. This is just, and all these things are going through my head about what I'm actually going to call this conversation. Cause all, every time you say something, I'm like, Oh, that's good. That's really good. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to see you on the other side. Um, but I just want to thank you again for, for this. This is, this has been so incredible. I do see us doing more of these because I don't think one conversation, quite frankly, is enough, Susan. So there's a lot. But um, thanks Carolyn for be me being here. I, I appreciate the invitation. Oh, I'm just thrilled that you were so you're a delight. Keep shining oh, for you. all of us. <laughs> you know what? I'm waiting for glitter to be a color. Oh. Honestly, I'm waiting for it to be a color. I really am. So listen, get one of those little things that kids like the sparklers. You need to add this to your show. And just that's oh it. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. I should. I will because yeah, seriously. Uh okay. forget the pink, forget whatever it's 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 sparkle. Sparkle is what <laughs> But anyway, this was supposed to be about you. Um, no, thank you so much. Uh, I would love to do more, but we can talk about that another time as well. Awesome. And uh, I know that you're going to be sending me everything that you would like me to put in the description on this YouTube uh, okay. channel yeah. because that's how people are going to reach you. And I think you'll find you have a lot of new women signing up. To Good. That would be great. I love it. With you. So thank you, Carolyn. Thank you so much. And thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've taken something from this. Um, I know I've taken a whole load of things from it. So go and look at your wardrobe and put things on and what you feel good in. That's the main mm -hmm. thing. Thank you so Great much, attention. everyone.